So, it's time to journey back to high school. You ready? I'm not, because I'm still in it. So today, we are continuing the story of Regina George and her minions. And we're going to be continue playing as Carla Heiler or something. I don't know what I named her. But let's get into it, shall we? Back to episode. Welcome back. We're excited to show you what's new. Okay, or don't. Okay, well, there's a lot of stories on here. Marriage by law, falling for the Dolan twins, the secret of rain. Oh, that looks so... Uh, rom comish I don't know. Um, my brother's best friend, uh-huh. Alright, well let's just go back to Mean Girls Senior Year. Episode 2 of 20. Okay, we're back. By the way, all the accents in this video were established in the first episode, just for warning. There are a thousand other schools where Regina could join a sorority and major in cake pops. So why Yale? It doesn't make any sense. It did feel a little off at first, but then I heard... Oh, there's a funeral. And to my granddaughter Regina. Pup's favorite headache. <laughs> Upon her high school graduation, I leave three million dollars. Score. If she attends my alma mater, Yale. Crap. Crap. Who knows, maybe that bus knocked her conscience into place. Bus? Oh yeah, she got hit by a bus. <laughs> you know, just a little side note. Might explain the memory loss. Real talk. How about we pick a backup school? Yeah, let's agree. Okay. Only as a formality. How about the University of Evanston? Does that even exist? That doesn't exist. It's a fine institution and it's nearby. But Mr. Duvall, Yale is my dream and it's my mom's dream for me. But it's even more than that. Yale is like the only link I have to one entire half of my identity. A genius. Heavy stuff. All right, look. Regina might not seem like the academic type, but she's smart, and she gets what she wants. I understand, but I'm gonna work really, really, really hard. Is there anything I can do to give me an edge over the competition? You could win student body president. The last six North Shore students to get into Yale have won. Election is on Thursday. You've got three whole days to campaign. I can't run against <gasps> Regina. Do you want to go to Yale or not? It's not that simple. Running against her would... I... She. Oh, I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> it's really complicated, okay? Why do women always say that? Get on in there and enjoy your first day, Carla. <laughs> okay, what was that observation? Why do women always say that? Okay, have fun. <laughs> oh, he's back. Hey, Carla. You okay? You look like you ate a bad cheese fry. I just found out if I want to go to Yale, I have to beat Regina for student body president. What? I thought Trump was our president. Regina is running for president? Looks like it now. I was going to run, but now... I'm um, not so sure. I'm really on the fence. No, you must run. But Regina- If Regina wins, the power will go straight to her head. This is the power. North Shore's fragile peace will crumble. Cliche warfare will pervade. We'll be right back where we started last year. So it's decided. You're running. And Janice and I will serve as campaign managers. Oh, yes. Oh, Karen's back. Hi everybody, it's Karen Smith with breaking news on Karen Uncensored. With Glenn Coco's party a day away, a new candidate has thrown her name in the hat. Ah, oh, who wears hats anymore? Right now, Regina leads with a projected 938 votes. How many people are at this school? Train Park trails with a projected 202 votes. A newcomer, what's her name, has... Where she's got my bet. One projected bet. Say you're already generating buzz in the media. You must follow Karen Uncensored. These election updates will be our lifeline. Okay. We need to get moving. Glenn Coco's party is tomorrow. What does that have to do with the election? Only everything, Carly. That party means every student with an out of social sway will be under one roof. No one at North Shore has even heard of Carly Hayes. Glenn's party is your chance to turn the tides. I like making hand motions. But what class do you have next? Uh, advanced Shakespeare? Snap, that's perfect. Drama kids are a key demographic. You know what would really win them over? A thespian outfit. Yeah, get the new outfit. I have 15 gems. This is going to be awesome. Ready to get it? Yeah, let's get the outfit. Great idea. Let's see this thing. This better be good for my 15 gems. Uh, I mean, it's okay, I guess. Bravo. <laughs> Thanks, Damien. Now, go wow those theater kids. If you want to win this thing, you'll have to win every other single click at North Shore. 
Let's talk strategy later. Toodles. Oh, here are the theater kids. Advanced Shakespeare. I need this class on my transcript for Yale, so naturally, Regina does too. This is Mrs. Yang. What voice should I do for Mrs. Yang? One would think with a last name of Yang, naturally it would be more of a uh, an Asian type of accent, but uh, let's let's mix this up, you know? The, the world is diverse. Let's make her Russian. Class, this is Carly Hayes, our new student. Act like you care. <sighs> or don't. Carly, why don't you tell us something about yourself? Um, I just moved here, and I'm really excited to go to Yale next year. Oh, and I'm kind of addicted to, let's say coffee. I'm something of a connoisseur. Me too. Nice outfit, by the way. You look like a leading lady. <laughs> and your favorite Shakespeare works? Uh, let's see, what have I read? Uh... Julius Caesar is not on here. Ju the one that I have like read through all the way, had to write about, is not on here. I can't pick. Me neither. Okay, have a suit, Mrs. Hayes, and if anyone touches her. Now, where were we? Downside, Regina. Upside, Micah. All right, Mr. Bergman was about to enlighten us all. Again, I have a goal. As I was saying, it's ridiculous that Shakespeare is still the gold standard of theater. For instance, I love you with so much of my heart that none is left to protest. Puh, Liz. What kind of fantasy world is this guy living in? 16th century Elizabethan London. Exactly. It couldn't be farther from reality. Charming as always, Mr. Bergman. Glass, any thoughts on our resident critic's tirade du jour? Miss Hayes, what about you? I think what Mr. Bergman is getting at, but I have to disagree. You actually think this stuff is relatable to a contemporary audience? I actually do. Shakespeare's portrayals of love are timeless. Timeless? Are you crazy? This guy really needs to get knocked down a notch. But Damien said I need to earn the drama kid vote. No, stand your ground. We're gonna disagree with Micah. Personally, I think Shakespeare's portrayal of love is realistic. Maybe I just have a sweet tooth for romance. If you have a sweet tooth for romance, then this isn't the right class for you. Theater is about the complexity of the human experience. Ouch. That was the flirtiest argument I had ever seen. He was so nice earlier, but he turned into a total jerk. A super opinionated, kind of obnoxious, unbelievably cute. Oh, was I staring? Miss George put the phone away. I was reading the ebook. <laughs> you are so into him. Hmm, maybe they can bond over this. He's kind of cute. <laughs> Good, because I think he has a girlfriend. Of course he does. Or maybe Regina's just trying to get in my head. Whatever, as long as she doesn't remember me. Miss George, if you don't mind, currently start off with Act 1. My book, uh, froze. If he does have a girlfriend, he'd bring her to the party, right? Except... Oh, there she is. So much for avoiding Regina. My cheeks are hot and my eyes are itchy. I feel like I can't breathe. I'm allergic to Regina George. Maybe it's the dress. That was fun, right? Right. Bundles. Nice to finally have someone who can keep up. You okay? You look a little, uh, flushed. Oh yeah, just your round the day, first day panic attack. <laughs> well, keep it together. I need you on your A game or I'm going to get bored in there. Ah, uh, he was playing around. And that really is a good outfit. <laughs> Pretty flirty for a guy with a girlfriend. Hey, are you going to that party everyone's talking about? Glen Coco's party? <laughs> Definitely not. The last one I went to, let's just say I saw things I can't unsee. Hey guys, Karen here with another election update on Karen Uncensored. In case you forgot, the election is in uno, dos, tres days. I went to Spanish class this morning. Regina George still leads with a projected 927 votes. Trang Park has dropped to 193 votes. And exit polls from the advanced Shakespeare suggest that What's Her Name has impressed the theater crowd. They love her outfit. But she's still in third with a projected 21 votes. Damien was right about the outfit. You're running for president? I should have guessed. You've got the personality for politics. Thanks. I can tell you, the theater program is in dire need of support. That's why I need to be president, to actually address student concerns. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Oh yeah? You got time to grab a coffee? I bet I could get a ton more votes from the theater crew. And also, it would be fun to hang out. Mm. Aw, oh, man, we're out of gyms. Why can't we go and get caught? Really? Aw, oh, that's your chance. Tempting offer, but I've already got a mountain of homework. On the first day of school, that's rough. Later, Carly. Today, I'm talking with Micah Bergman, who's wearing not happening. 
Why would he not want to be in Karen Uncensored? Between the party and that class, it's going to be impossible to avoid Regina. Carly, hey, wait up. Please, no. Weird, I feel like I knew someone with that name. Please don't remember, please don't remember. <laughs> Whatever, I know a lot of people. So I just got caught up on uh, Karen Uncensored. Is it true you're running for president? I was playing to my last school and then this morning, Principal Duvall suggested I go for it. It's like you want to be me. No, uh, it's like you want to be my twin and do everything I do. Should I text you and tell you what I'm wearing tomorrow? No, no, it's not like that. Mr. Duvall told me I have to calm down. I'm only joking. Don't take things so seriously. Sorry. And stop apologizing. Those hand motions Damien does are really addicting. Sorry, it's just that going to Yale really means a lot to me. Yale means a lot to me too. Three million dollar store products to be precise. Anyway, I just wanted to say I know it's like we're campaigning in some weird way for the Yale spot. Yeah. But I don't want it to feel weird between us. It's not like we set out to be in competition with each other. I know, right? Glad you get it. Oh, and I hate to tell you about the Micah thing. It's super sketchy that he'd lead you on like that when I'm pretty sure he has a girlfriend. Sorry to be a buzzkill. I'm just looking out for you. Yeah, just thank her. Of course, thanks. That's really cool of you. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I know you really like him. I can tell. Whoa, I don't even know him. I mean, he's kind of a total weirdo and he has like zero friends, but if that's what you're into, don't let me stop it. Okay. I'm really glad we had this little talk. I didn't want you to take any of this personally. You know what? Let's make this friendship official. We need a picture. Okay. Welcome, Carly. We're gonna have so much fun together. Cool. We looked hot. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Oh, back to the homestead. Hey, Mom. There she is. How was your first day, baby? No, it's not good to bottle it up. You need to let it loose. Terrible. Everything's a mess. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You were so positive this morning. What is happening? The principal said only one student per year gets into Yale. What? How can they do that? Some sort of quotient. My whole vision is crumbling. Okay, listen. Deep breathing here. There's not another high school senior out there who's got a better shot than you do. To even have a shot, I have to win student body president. I need to convince a thousand strangers to vote for me by Thursday. If it were any other girl, that would intimidate me. But you are my daughter. I taught you to aim high and work hard. And that's exactly what you're going to do here, right? But mom, the girl I'm running up against. I'm having another heart attack. It's Regina. Yeah, she's acting like she doesn't remember me. Oh, baby, I know how much you want Yale. And I know how much I want Yale for you. More than anything. Maybe Regina would just put the past behind her. Maybe it's best you did too. Mom, if anyone finds out what happens, I have got to avoid Regina at that party tomorrow. Is, is this over? Are we done here? Yay, we're done here. Okay, great. There are 20 episodes to this. If any of you still have interest in seeing what happens at this Glen Coco party or whatever, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll continue. Or if you can watch some hooked stories or other story, you know, there's a lot on this thing. So until our next trip to North Shore High School, this is Carson Frisky, signing off.